you're on the air. How's it going, dude? Uh, it's going well. <laughs> what can I do awesome. for you guys this fine evening? Well, you know, you, you, you obviously the flat Earth thing has been in the news a whole bunch lately because of that movie that came out on Netflix. Right. I just wanted to call and ask your opinion about the documentary and all that stuff. Sure. Sure. You were, you were in it a lot. I I am in it a lot. I ended up being the protagonist. I didn't know I was going to be that actually until I watched it for the first time at a film festival. It, I, I felt it, that way once. It seemed like it was cut in a in, in a jaded way. Uh, it it was the uh, the director by the time he got to the end of the film hated it. <laughs> he hated the whole flat Earth concept. He thought we were pretty harmless until he got to the conference, and then he realized it was a lot bigger. And he decided he was going to take a stand because he was really science based. So, but that was alright. I I got it. I understood. But it still it works for us like a like a Trojan horse. I mean, I've had I mean my email load doubled, and I have a lot of people contacting me on a regular basis, including you. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, we, we we saw the movie here, the guys well, and I. There's a, there's three people on the show, so it's myself, Aaron, and we've got Todd over here, and Jason. Yeah, hi. Did he say, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Did he think you were threatening or something? Well, uh, okay, I mean, it's just between us, right? So what, what happened? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and the listening audience. Yeah, the listening audience. <laughs> Uh, no, what happened was, uh, and he actually let this slip during the director's commentary on the iTunes version, which was when they got to the conference, and that 12-year-old guy, kid, walked up to the, uh, the microphone and started talking to me. That's when everything turned. And it wasn't just him. It was also National Geographic and a couple other groups. And, and he said, okay, it's all fun and games unless there's children involved. And then you're affecting our future. And it's like, really? That's the that's stance you're going to take, really? And that's seriously what he did. At that point, it's like, all right. And then it was the power of editing. And he went after Bob and he went after Jaron, took a few shots at me. Uh, wow. Yeah. But that's, I mean, again, it, it was his movie. It wasn't wasn't my movie. And it was like, yeah, look, sure. just happy. Look, it, it did 22 film festivals in seven countries and then was picked up immediately. In fact, it was released in November and all the other platforms. But I had severely underestimated the Netflix presence. I didn't realize everybody has freaking Netflix. Yeah, I, everybody I, has Netflix. Yeah, you don't I, have Netflix? I, I don't. <laughs> I don't oh, have Netflix. Netflix. It's so inexpensive. And, and, and I, I know. I've, I, I watch so much media anyway. Uh, I, but, I, but I've seen, I've, I've, I, I know of it. And I you know, know people that have Netflix. But I didn't realize <laughs> wait, wait, wait. it. <laughs> what is no of it. of it? Even Jason over here has Netflix. <laughs> and I'm well, going to have no I'm idea I'm an Jason introvert. is. I'm an introvert. So, I mean, there's, yeah. there's, only, there's only so many hours in the day I can watch media. And I'm watching so much Flat Earth content now anyway. But yeah, sure. yeah. So tell me, yeah, tell me ahead. about the end. Tell me about the tail end of the movie. They kind of cut off really quickly during Jaren's experiment with the laser and the like, whatever, like four yep, yep, or five yep, miles yep. of road. They they left out so much in that, and I felt bad for Jaren because he didn't film anything on his own, and uh, they would not give him. They they promised him. They said, "Oh, we'll give you the 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 what we chopped off, you know, which was a ton." Because there were two complete separate experiments. The first one, he melted the uh, the laser condenser, and they didn't even show that. And then the second one, Jaron, God bless him. I told him, I go, look, you don't do, <laughs> don't do a live experiment for the first time. It's a rookie mistake. You know, you've got to at least do it before the cameras show up. And he he knows that now. But yeah, it was the power of editing. Look. It, it, the way he spun it, it was like, oh, yeah, Jaren, Jaren proved the curvature of the Earth. It's like, well, if that was the case, then why is Jaren still making videos? And why didn't anybody quit Flat Earth? And why didn't show, you show all the other fun experiments? And why didn't anybody else replicate that experiment after the fact? That's what I was so, thinking was, was going to happen, but it didn't. Anyway, go ahead. So your stance on the filmmakers is yeah. that they uh, intentionally uh, tried to make a, a legitimate attempt at disproving flat earth N not in the beginning it was kind of a weird thing for them it initially started out as a human interest story which was okay we're not going to do the nuts and bolts of flat earth we're just going to follow these people around you know bob and jaron and patricia and me and chris and, and nathan and then meet sure. everyone meet at the conference and it'll you know like like your normal documentary everyone big climactic thing at the conference and that's how it was going to end but then they realized during this process because it took them seven months to shoot it that flat earth just kept getting bigger and bigger and science wasn't stopping them in the in the, yeah. sl in the slightest and so it's like they decided to m take a stand and but they couldn't do it entirely so it was not going to be a, a complete hit piece documentary the only thing they could do is kind of twist the uh it twist a, bend it a little bit in editing which was fine again it, you know i went to multiple film festivals around the country 
And you know, we're talking about 95% of the people in the audience were globalists, uh, uh, good as name as any. And at the Dang end, the, they, they all had, I, I like it, I don't think it rolls off the tongue as much as like sphericals or something like that. But sure. at the, but the end, everybody had their hands up. I mean, they were flying me out to some of these things just because they couldn't even get enough people out, uh, enough representatives out to the, the, to the film festivals. There were so many of them that were happening. And there were just questions, questions. It plants okay. the All seed, right. and so, it was great. Anyway, sorry, I ramble. Go ahead. That's a, yeah, you're good. You, you, well, you lived it. You lived it. And yeah. it was, it's a great documentary. I, it's I a do great it documentary. Well, thank you. I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Thanks. Uh, it is called Behind the Curve. Yeah. For those that are interested, if you haven't seen it yet, I think everyone's seen it. It by was now. a total hit piece. Don't watch it. <laughs> no one. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not so, necessarily. No, 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 no. I know what. What I. Mark. If, Mark, for real. Let me ask you this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the movie starts with you um, on the beach, and you're kind of looking out over. Is it uh, Seattle? Uh, yeah, I'm looking from Whidbey looking, Island to yeah, down across, south, south to Seattle. Yeah, towards, yeah. Down. Yeah. towards Seattle. Yeah. yeah. So that is a severe behavioral but, disorder. And, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, be totally frank with you yeah. i am i'm i'm a skeptic i'm not a i'm not i'm not you know, if anything He's a globe head dude if, if anything, that's fine no it's fine that's no, totally fine I'm skeptic leaning flat right now so hear me out so this is and these, <laughs> these are some of the questions i need to answer that's so fine if it, go ahead so if you'd been like let's say you'd been in a car and right. you were seeing you know the horizon and you were seeing seattle and and right. as the further you drove away that horizon kind of dipped away how do we explain that because you you were you were a reasonable distance from the from the Seattle skyline. About, about in the, thirty, in the about 30, yeah. 30 miles or so. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what if you were say three hundred and thirty miles away from Seattle? You, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see it though, but for completely different reasons. Uh, one, because as things get smaller, and I'll just use a computer example, they just shrink down and down and down until it's like a single pixel, and then. Yeah. But the But the bigger thing is, and most people don't, you know, because we don't teach this any really in science anymore is that what we're breathing, what you guys are breathing right now, actually, I don't know what you guys are breathing right now, but what I'm breathing Terrible. right now... I can tell you that. Well, I'm just saying. The, uh, we're professional broadcasters. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you really are. You're not on a that, podcast. That, You're that, actually on the FM airway. That means oh, okay. there's a lot of oxygen. Okay, well, well, what we're breathing right now is only about 99% transparent. You're actually just breathing a thin version of water. It's actually, you're only breathing 20% oxygen and 80% nitrogen. I know there's some trace gases in there. So, like that is in so cool. Can you get Thanks back to Jason. answering my question? Well, no, no, no. You'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Which is he when will. you, when you, this, so as it gets further off into the distance, it's 80% yeah. transparent and 60 and 30. And finally, it just blurs out it's the reason why you can't see japan from san francisco for example it's just too the atmosphere is just too damn thick so even so but at like 150 miles away you could be able to see the city if you had the proper vantage point absolutely but wait could. a minute it's, if, and if, it's if, got if not... i'm in chinatown in Ch san francisco then Ch can i see china <laughs> That's good. Exactly. That's good. That's good. No, 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 no. Because people, people will say that it's like, why can't? And I go, if it was a vacuum, if the atmosphere was gone, well, you'd be dead. But if it was a vacuum and you could, you had a telescope, <laughs> you you absolutely could see very, very far away. And we've been doing that with um, uh, long distance photography from airplanes recently with uh, infrared nano filters. It's fantastic. We okay. can see five hundred, so, six hundred uh, miles away. So how can how can we explain away? The ring laser gyroscope failure. Oh uh, yes, the ring How laser. How can we explain that one away? That that seems like that's a tough one for me you, as well. You know what, Mark? I'm going to go ahead and throw you a lifeline on this. Okay, go ahead. This is where I'm going to say, God. Uh, we need to have several conversations. You need to call back. It doesn't have to be on the show. It could be outside of the show. I'd be happy to anytime. Sure. And uh, you know, I know a certain amount of physics. In which case, uh, this ring laser thing it's right. a farce it totally is a farce dude i can tell you this i have the white papers i have everything right on them. okay right. no no i no i i, I get you look look we're trying everything we can the, the ring laser thing was, and by the way it was actually a um fiber optic laser it wasn't a ring laser i don't know why they kept saying that uh, of and course it, it wasn't yeah and it and it didn't fiber optics is it's so different. Yeah, and it didn't and it didn't cost. I don't think it cost 20. I think that one they bought was more like 12. It's still a lot of money. But you yeah, know, they're of course it, it is. Yeah, it, it wasn't my favorite experiment. My favorite stuff is long distance photography or lasers or some other things we won't get into. So, uh, exactly. Yeah. It's more than my eBay budget. So, have <laughs> you actually so you've actually seen a successful um 
laser experiments. Oh that God, they, like, yes, the, yeah. That Jaren fellow did. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, I, I, you've actually seen it. How many miles? Uh, forty kilometers. Because we it was done. I, I'm for. I have to say kilometers. Can you just say? Can you say miles? Okay, fine. Uh, thirty. I'm not good at math. For, forty it's kilometers. I know. This is for, for this is for your miles. Canadian listeners. It's um, it's about thirty miles, and it was done, actually Guinness Book of World Records was there with us. It was done in Hungary over uh, Lake Balaton, B A L A T O N, and it was perfect. It was flawless, and they and and that was shot during the documentary, and they decided not to cover it. Really? Oh yeah. So what you're saying is that these uh, these guys um, are really just out to to. Well, uh, look, series. people, so. they're really, yeah, it so, like terrible na- guys. National, Ge- what are they trying to do? National Geographic God. shot with us for three days. They used 10 minutes of footage and they cannibalized even their own experiments because it helped us. I mean, they completely wiped out their own experiments. There's some groups that don't like, well, come on, it, it's not a big secret. Some groups hate us, especially anyone no, that's yeah, science based. They hate us so much. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Man, all I can say is. I, I agree. <laughs> what right, about to, the Haiti? We're going to have to discuss this further, Mark. That's cool. Yeah. Seriously. No, that's it's fine. The, it's the end of our radio show. I actually. could go on and on. I've seen many a curvature, and I've seen many a straight line, and and all I can tell you is Jason is the only guy over here that I know that can prove or disprove any of this. All right. Yeah, right. this is where we have to he's get He's been Jason quiet. Jason's involved. been quiet since Mark's been on. I think he's a little starstruck. Oh, hey, <laughs> he is? Uh, <laughs> seriously, Mark, I th- we do have to get, go off the air at okay. 11 o'clock, but I'd love it if uh, you, you call back next week, or maybe uh, we can call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remind me. Uh, shoot me an email. All my contact vi- info's in there, yeah. and uh, we'll, we'll do it. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank yes, you. This is, Mar- this is Mark Sargent, everybody, from the uh, film Behind the Curve. <laughs> he is, uh, what, what is it again? What's your thing again? I, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Flat Earth Clues. Yeah, that's right. Flat Earth Clues. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. You can buy t-shirts and yeah. stuff, too. All right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening. All right. Thanks, we'll Mark. talk to you, you next week. Okay. Yeah. Talk to you next week. Uh, bye. Bye-bye.